As we mentioned, we're going to get the latest unemployment numbers in the state and in the country in a few hours, about 7.30 this morning. CBS2 is committed to working for Chicago. It is Thursday, and we're getting our advice now from our career coach. This week, focusing on those with long employment history and lots of experience. If this is you, listen up. Job one from our coach, tighten up your resume. Only go back 20 to 25 years maximum. That's all you need. Whether it's your resume or your LinkedIn profile, don't go back more than 25 years. It may sway the employer who's looking for a more youthful hire, maybe. Bosses aren't allowed to ask your age, of course. That's the law. Our expert says don't provide the year you graduated school if you did. But what if you have career highlights that kind of date back 25 years or more? What I suggest is that you create a different heading that says other professional experience or additional professional experience and put the name of the company in your role, but don't add dates to that experience. And that allows you to represent the experience without revealing your age. Really clever idea. She also suggests, this is interesting, modernizing the layout of your resume, even down to the font that you use. Stay away, she says, from Times New Roman. Apparently, that looks dated to some employers. Instead, look at modern resumes for fonts with a fresher look, like Arial or Calibri.